Um, I think it's pronounced Crew 90. What's up boys and girls, it's your boy Johnny, AKA Crew 90. And today's video, I wanna show you how to properly extend your pylon to make your pylon longer. Now, boys, 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 I didn't say make your python longer. Uh, I can't help you with that. So, I mean, you know, talking about pylons here. So, I'm gonna show you exactly why you would need to do this, what I'm talking about, why like you might realize, hey, you know what, something's off, and we'll proceed to do what I'm about to show you how to do. So right now when I'm standing up, I'm trying to put my weight evenly distributed between my two legs, my, my real leg and my prosthetic leg. So um, when I'm standing up and I'm not actually shifting my weight onto my prosthetic, I'm just standing up straight. And this is straight for me. It might not look straight, but this is where when I'm just in a resting standing position where I'm not you know, leaning or anything, I'm just trying to stand, this is where I would be standing. In this position, I can feel that my heel is up off the ground. It might be very imperceivable, but I can feel it. And what I can do to kind of prove that is I will grab something like a checkbook. Grab a checkbook. And so I'm just gonna be loose. I don't have to really think about it. And now I'm standing still. Okay, so this is locked in. I can easily slide. I can slide the whole checkbook right underneath my shoe without any problem that shows that my heel was in fact slightly elevated. This is why I would need to extend my pylon. This is something that you can do really simply and it will put me back to being completely flush with the ground so that my right leg, my prosthetic leg, is actually the same length as my flesh and blood leg. Bixby. Okay, so most people, um, well, I don't see a lot of people, so I'm gonna say most people, I may be incorrect on that, but most people, their pylon, which is actually this part right here, it's actually still just the regular, um, the metallic color. Um, I like to spray paint my pylon, so you need a marker for this. I use a silver marker because my pylon is black. Uh, most people, they don't spray paint it, so their pylon is probably still just the plain standard metal. Um, you can use a black marker, but that's the only reason my marker is silver. So, first and foremost, what I like to do is to mark where my pylon currently is just so that I don't overextend it. So I have um, a little marker here. Ooh, and actually, this is very interesting. You can see, so this is the progression of how you need to lengthen and shorten prosthetics. Um, let's see if you can see this on the camera. I'm gonna hold it up. You can see right here is the silver mark from the last time I did it. This band going around the top is when I lengthened it the last time and I never went back and repainted it. So that's where it was. Then I lengthened it. I'm about to lengthen it some more. So um, that just goes to show you how much fluctuation you have with your pylons throughout the time that you need to constantly lengthen and shorten them. So this is actually a mark I made the last time. I'm gonna to have to make sure that the today's mark um, does not get confused with this one. So going back, all right. So I'm gonna make a fresh mark to show where today's current height is. I'm gonna go all the way around. Now, okay. So here's this mark that I just made. I'm also, in order to make sure that everything lines up, I'm gonna put a line here and a line here. So, that way I know exactly where things are. All right, so, now, ugh, let's not get marker on the couch. You have one of these tools. You can get these from your local prosthetist office. Um, you can order them online. Uh, I actually got mine on Amazon. Um, well, no, I got this one from my prosthetist because the one I got off of Amazon broke. But um, I have gotten one off of Amazon. Uh, if you don't have a tool like this, you can just use a regular L key. You just gotta find one that's the proper size. Um, but so all you're gonna do is you gotta go in here and you gotta loosen these nuts. And it's gonna make a loud pop because this has been Loctited in place. There we go. 
So you're just gonna loosen the one side. Same thing. Loosen this side. All right. Now, with it like that, you can easily begin to start wiggling it. So the most, just the, just a fraction, just like, like super small. Guys, the ones that thought we were talking about lengthening your python, they'll know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm just gonna do the smallest, smallest little bit. And we're gonna wiggle it in and out just to get it exactly where we want it. Okay, now I'm gonna show you I barely lengthened it. That's the mark that we just made today. Uh, it's actually kind of blending in because I'm going into the silver of the actual metal. But that's the mark I just made today. I only lengthened it by that tiniest little bit right there. And now I've made sure that these lines rematch because if you have your lines like that, you're gonna end up having your, your instep too far in or too far out. If you go out like this, your toes not gonna to be lined up. So if you're prosthetic straight, now your foot's gonna be going out too far to that way. So you wanna make sure that these are lined up so that you are exactly where you were when you started. You want these lines perfectly lined up. But this is now the proper, I've extended it. Um, it's lined back up. So this will be all properly in alignment. And we can put this back on. Now you gotta relock it before you try it out. Otherwise, you're just gonna compress it all right down and you'll end up being shorter than you were when you started. What am I doing, buddy? What's going on over here? My cat is very interested right now. I think it's the squeaky noise. All right. So now I mean, it really already feels better, even with just that little bit of distance. I, I mean, you saw it was like a fraction. I'm gonna go ahead. I want to lengthen it just the tiniest bit more. I'm going to go just the slightest bit more than I just did. What was that, Monty? So, trial and error. Um, I kind of felt like I maybe didn't lengthen it enough the last time, but I didn't want to over lengthen it on video. Now I have to go and lengthen it again. So. That should do it. Maybe we'll go just the tiniest bit more. Guys, don't you wish that you could make yourselves taller this easily? Because technically I could lengthen this whole leg to be like an extra, like this much. And I could just, I mean, obviously I'd only be tall on one leg, but we could figure that out. I had a friend who was a double amputee. This is a true story, not a joke. He used to lengthen the pylons on his legs to be longer or shorter depending on the size or I mean the height of the girl he was going out on a date with each night. So he would find out his date's height and then would adjust his pylons accordingly. True story. Also sometimes just to mess with us when he would come hang out, he would make himself super short or super tall. So we never knew what to expect when he showed up. Do we have a six foot five? friend or do we have a you know five foot even friend we have no idea okay now we're locked in rolling it up don't be looking at my leg hair all right and oh yeah 
That feels so much better. You can tell as soon as you're standing. I know you can't see me because I'm cut off right now because this is angled for the couch, but yeah, so much better. So we're gonna go now. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna touch this back up because that's the final step for me is to touch it back up with spray paint. If you guys don't have paint on there, obviously that's not gonna be uh, a step for you guys, but that is it. That is all that you need to lengthen your pylon. You just need an L key. I have one that's built basically with a handle, but any regular L key will work. Just make sure it's the proper size. And a marker for me, because I have a black pylon, silver marker. If you have a regular, just standard metallic pylon, you'll use a black marker. And that's it. Very simple, but makes a huge difference. As always, it's your boy Johnny, aka Crew90, and I'll catch you next time. What's up, boys and girls? It's your boy Johnny, aka. Did he just walk by? What's up, boys and girls? It's your boy Johnny, aka. Did he just walk by?